a lot of YouTubers have been talking about this. Is Pikmin 3DS or Hey Pikmin a good game? Or will it be a good game? I don't think it looks great. I don't think it looks terrible either. Because Nintendo, other YouTubers like Arlo have talked about this. Nintendo was releasing spin-offs for a very long time without main series games like Amiibo Festival, which I don't know why I paid $60 for. I should not have done that. Um, Chibi Robo Ziplash, which wasn't a bad game, but it was still a spin-off. And then they announced Pikmin for the 3DS, now known as Hey Pikmin. And there was a lot of people getting mad about it because it's not a real Pikmin game and everyone wants to see Pikmin 4 on the Switch. Now, the Switch is a, is a 720p console and 1080p on the TV, so don't worry about how many um, how many Pikmin you'll be able to see on screen before it looks extremely pixely. On the 3DS, they have to do the side-scrolling thing because the 3DS probably could render all 100 Pikmin. I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is that the 3DS screen is just so low resolution, 240p, that it would just look like an 8-bit game. And I know that's an I know that's probably an overstatement, but still, um, it would not look good. All the the Pikmin probably look maybe like 16 bit or 8 bit, and also the screen is is so small that you wouldn't really be able to see all the Pikmin clearly. So they have to do the side scrolling game. Now, if it was like a 20 or 20 is a little cheap, but 30 dollar game then I think people would get less mad about it, because $40 is a full-price 3DS game. Not a full-price game, but a full-price 3DS game. And a lot of people don't want to pay for that. Pikmin isn't Nintendo's most popular franchise, but it definitely has a dedicated fan base. Every Nintendo franchise does. No matter if it's the least popular or Mario, it has a fan base. Like, Chibi Robo is probably one of their least popular franchises. It still had a fan base, though, or at least had somewhat of a fan base until Chibi Robo Ziplash when a lot of people uh, disliked the game. I actually like Chibi Robo Ziplash. The point is it was a departure from the series. It was something that was really like a simulation game where you play as a, a mini robot and you do chores and stuff like that. I, I haven't played any of the games. I've heard that's that's what it is. Um, I could be wrong. I just looked it up so you have to do like good deeds for Chibi Robo's owner, that's what Chibi Ro Robo games are about, or at least it was until Chibi Robo Ziplash. That was a very different game, it was a side-scroller. Sound familiar? Exactly what Hey Pikmin is, it's a side-scroller. Every single Pikmin game so far, except Hey Pikmin, hasn't been linear. You've had the freedom um, to go where you want in the game, and there's been a lot of open areas to discover and find the secrets in the game. Because it's not open world, you have to choose what areas you want to go to, and you have to unlock it. Especially in Pikmin 3, there's so many options to where you can go. Let's say there's not a lot of time left, and there's a box that needs 20 Pikmin, but you have 19 Pikmin, so you have to uh, decide, are you going to find that last Pikmin to go there or not? There's also a lot of times where there, you, there might be... Um, a piece of fruit that you have to get to survive, but you know that if you risk getting it, you might just completely lose all your Pikmin. So, th there's so many choices in the game, and it's not even an RPG, it's a strategy game, that it kind of is like an RPG. A strategy is really like a type of R RPG, but it's it's now a different genre. Because both both revolve around making choices, and you have to be careful a lot of times for what, what you do um, and how it could affect you later. You can go from having 100 Pikmin to having no Pikmin. And I guess, yes, something like that would be in, in Hey Pikmin, but not to the same degree. It's a very linear game, as we know. I'm sure there will be some secrets. Um, every, really, every game Nintendo makes does. But it's not going to be like the other Pikmin games. And it looks kind of slow and... I guess it's kind of a platformer mix of strategy. It's I don't really know what to call the game besides a side scroller, and it's hard to have a platformer when you can't jump. Um, something like Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Captain Toad couldn't jump, but it was still a very good game because it was a puzzle game. It was a 3D puzzle game um, that you had camera control over. You don't have camera control in this game and you can only move in one direction. So you don't need camera control, um, or I shouldn't say you can only move, 
you can move forward. I don't know if you can move back in the game. Um, you probably could, but I'm guessing a lot of the things they'll do is so you can't backtrack. That's what I'm thinking they're going to do. We've seen a lot of examples of this, especially um, in the puzzles when you can you can't go back in the level. I guess unless you replay it. Hopefully, Hey Pikmin will be this last type of spinoff for a while. I mean, I don't mind if Nintendo tries some spinoffs, but at least make it something that um, will appeal to a lot of people. Because this game won't appeal to a lot of people. The people who are fans of Pikmin might not want to play this because it's so different and they don't uh, and they don't think the game looks good. And the people who aren't fans of Pikmin might not have ever heard of Pikmin and won't play this game. So I don't think the sales will do that well. Yes, there's going to be plenty of Pikmin fans who will play it. Um, I can't think. I can't think that Nintendo um, thinks that Pikmin for the 3DS will sell very well. I think it will sell maybe 500,000 copies. Maybe if it sells more than good for Nintendo, because, because I hope Nintendo realizes that Pikmin Pikmin is still a popular series, even though it's not as popular as something like Mario, Zelda. Or Pokemon, and we're seeing a lot of games that really haven't been popular in the casual audience. That Nintendo's bringing back, like Metroid Prime. They brought back Star Fox a couple years ago, or it was last year, and it wasn't very good. So Star Fox might be dead, but Metroid Prime is is back. Metroid for the 3DS, and yes, that's a side scroller, but it's not. Uh, it's not a spinoff. It's a main series. Or not main series game. It's a remake of Metroid of Metroid 2, I believe. Um, so Nintendo is definitely revisiting some old franchises. Hopefully, we'll see a new F Zero game. That's one of the only franchises um, that's been relevant in the past 15 years that they haven't brought back. Because I think I think F Zero GX came out like 15 or 16 years ago, and we haven't seen a game since. Except we did see F Zero 64 on the Wii U as, as an, an eShop title or as a virtual console title. title. So maybe we'll see um, F-Zero on the Switch, F-Zero GX, if there's GameCube Virtual Console. So the point of this video is just to say that the Pikmin for the 3DS, or Hey Pikmin, looks like an okay game, but Nintendo's decision to make a, a spin-off game might not be the best idea. To make a spin-off game and to make a side-scroller game of Pikmin, it might not end that well, and I know a lot of people have been saying that this will be the worst 3DS game, it will be the worst Pikmin game, probably, it's probably going to be the worst Pikmin game. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be bad, because none of the Pikmin games are bad, all of them are great. The worst reviewed main series Pikmin game is Pikmin 3, and it still has an 87 on Metacritic. That's better than, I would say, 95% of games, maybe even more than that. Probably like 97% of games. So as long as Pikmin, I I'm guessing I'm guessing it now. Pikmin, hey Pikmin is going to get something either in the late 60s or early 70s. I don't think there's any way it can get something better than that with how a lot of these side scroll games could be. I could be wrong. So let me know your thoughts on Hey Pikmin in the comments. Will you be picking it up? And do you think that Nintendo should have made a real Pikmin game for the 3DS, even though that might not work as well? as something on console. Thank you for watching. Bye.